Alright then, Guardians, what is going on? My name is Cloud Plays, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video here on the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the exotic quest guide for the Lament Exotic Sword. This is a chainsaw and a sword, all combined into one. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, this is an 11 step quest line and it's quite a lengthy one at that so we are going to get into this but before we do if you guys would be oh so kind to smash the beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe with post notifications turned on and stick a comment down the comment section let me know what date it is the day that you're watching this i'm really interested to see how long people leave their exotic quests i'm kind of interested also, we go live on Twitch most days, so if you guys want to check out some live content, go down to the description and go and smash the follow on my Twitch channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, plugs are all out of the way. Let's get into these 11 steps. Now, the first step is called Locate Dead Exos. You're going to have to locate and scan three dead exos on Europa. Now, they are quite hidden, and we have already uploaded a video of the four locations where the dead exos are. If you always want to go and head over to that, you'll find it in the top corner now, coming up on a little banner, or we'll put it down in the description as well, and you guys can head on over and scan your exos nice and easy. Next up, we've got to locate the giant exo. Now, we have had gameplay leak onto the online world, World via Twitter and YouTube and um, people have managed to get to the giant exo I me myself I couldn't get there but obviously when this quest opens up and we get more into the season this will make sense a little bit more but you guys will see on screen right now that you guys can go and see this giant freaking exo head and next step I guess is step three which is called giant expectations prove yourself to the Clovis AI by using sword against the vexed across Europa now, I don't know how many that's going to be, but it's pretty damn easy all over. Head around Europa making sure you rally flags and just kill things with swords. It should not take too long whatsoever. Next up, another part of the giant expectations, we have got acquire and complete the listed quests from Commander Zavala and Varix to prove yourself to the Clovis AI and continue on with the Lost Lament. Next part, we have to prove your worth to the Clovis AI by completing an EXO challenge, which again, we don't really know anything about at the moment, but I'm presuming as the season updates and expands, we are going to know what an EXO challenge is a little bit closer to the release of this sword. Next up, we have to defeat Vex with finishes to satisfy the Clovis AI. Defeating powerful Vex grants the most efficient progress. Now, for me personally, I'd be going over to Europa, jumping into the Lost Sector, and just going ham with finishes as and where you can. Now, again, we don't know the number as how many finishes you're going to have to do, so hopefully it's not that large, but we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and pray. Next up is Rescue the Past. Access the Strike the Glassway and locate the Blade pieces within. Now, for me personally, I would presume that this will be a modified version of the Strike and it won't just be the standard version. So, uh, it, neither here nor there, actually. It should be just an extra burn or maybe a little bit of, a little bit of something else as far as a modifier goes. It should be really, really quite easy. Next up, we've got Blade of Broken Dreams. Head back to the tower and speak to Banshee44 about the Broken Blade. Now, that's quite self-explanatory, although apparently there is a bit of a lore behind Banshee44, which hopefully should come out during this quest where he's not actually who we think he is. But, again, we're going to have to wait and see. After that, we have got a part of the Blade of Broken Dreams again, which is search Eventide Ruins for an abandoned bunker and explore inside. Now, it doesn't actually expand on that statement, so what it is that we're exploring for, I'm presuming will be located with a little white diamond symbol. That's per freaking usual. Then we've got to go on to complete Reforging the Past. Complete the mission Reforging the Past to save the Clovis AI from being destroyed. A mission that will pop up and you will have to complete. Quite self-explanatory. And the last stop. Head back to the tower and report your discoveries to Banshee44. And that's where I'm presuming the Lament is going to be put into our hands to go and chainsaw and sword the living life out of anything that comes in our path. I'm really, really excited for this exotic sword and I'm really, really excited to see the impact that it has on the Destiny community as far as DPS and taking things to the next level. If you guys have enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form, make sure you're smashing that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Stick a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what date it was that you watched this video just because we were interested to see how long people leave their exotic quests. 
But as always, Guardians, I appreciate all of your damn faces. And up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.